Okay, so for the side garden here, um, we have our salad box, which is pretty much run its course. Um, got these <laughs> salad stalks here that are four feet tall. Um, really, like, thick as, you know, immature corn there. Just crazy. But uh, we've still been eating off of it. It's been okay, but we'll probably be taking that out soon. And that poor lettuce in the back there, not looking real great either. Some of it looks like it's broken. I don't know how it got broken, but anyway, yeah, this way we need to get rid of that in the next week because it's not really doing anything there. But, you know, we've got some salad off of it. Obviously, once again, um, this was something that uh, was definitely not designed to be planted in the middle of summer. But we figured we'd give it a shot. So we got a little bit off of it. And see which ones we take. We like the taste of. So coming uh, not too soon, we'll plant some more. A uh, couple months. <clears throat> that way we'll have some nice spring or fall lettuce. And then some in the spring. With our next box, our, uh, now our herb box, our basil is finally getting huge. Need to start using it and pinching it and all this stuff. Um, our cilantro is starting to go to seed. It's looking good. Uh, with the cilantro part or that part now it's starting to get the um, little seed part up here and put the flowers and stuff so we'll uh, I don't know how to look into that how much longer I can eat the cilantro off of it um, with our cabbages I can't remember when we harvested these two but those two are gone those were good cheddar stuff and um, this one's starting to form, you can see it there. It's probably about um, three inches or so across right now. But um, that is going to form after all. So completely um, underestimate the power of the cabbage because these guys produced as well that one. So probably all my cabbages would have produced if I would have left them out here, even the ones that I pulled up. Um, so note for next time. Obviously next time I won't plant them in the, in the heat, but... Uh, they'll just take some time and obviously also a note give them some more dang space because yeah, They definitely can't these ones spread, you know huge huge amount. So our kale in the back is Looking all right. I don't know when we get this cabbage done. We'll pull all these out give these to the chicken lady uh, To feed the chickens then we'll be able to really see better what's going on with the kale, but it's uh It's having some issues with pests and stuff and whatnot and we've eaten I think some I'm not really sure how much we've eaten yet but we'll need to once we get the cabbages out of the way put it in there that's another one of those things we thought well it'll grow and it's just way too much uh, stuff crammed in there potatoes are looking good or at least uh, these hills are the one up there is not looking the best maybe because it's on the top and the water runs off not really sure but those are our taters, all growing all over the place. And then the uh, rest of our tater patch over here um, is doing well, starting to flower, most of them. So that one looking good. This one's got a flower, flowers there, over there, and over there, and over there, and over there. So looking good, coming up nicely. Looks like I need to get in there and do some little weeding. Um, but coming along good, so that is the side garden.